and, and they also, what I remember the most about 72, 73 in the summers was pulling that record player outside of the basement and putting it on the back porch while we played baseball in the alley with the rubber ball like hard enough to hurt you but not hard enough to break a window and, uh, and just listening to Stevie Wonder all day long, all night long echoing off the halls, echoing off the brick buildings and, and then cut to, cut to a few years ago we had the opportunity to record with Stevie and it didn't seem real, much like tonight. It didn't seem like it was possible, and, uh, but he was going to be there. He was going to be there at, at, at 4 o'clock, and, and we were going to go at this tune in the, in the studio, and then, then four uh, 3.30 comes in, he's running late. So, okay, no worries. How late? Like, maybe 6, okay? No worries. Stevie Wonder, do whatever the fuck he wants. And, Six o'clock comes around, 5.30. Ah, uh, he's still running late. There's, there's a bit of an issue at home, he's gotta take care of it. No problem, Stevie Wonder. Stevie time, he can do whatever he wants. We will be here, we're not going anywhere. But now I'm thinking, this ain't gonna happen. This probably ain't gonna happen. Nine o'clock, still not there. 11.30, Stevie shows up, plays till four in the morning. And um, it was a bit like going through hyperspace. I, I, I barely remember that four hours. It seemed like 40 minutes. But the reason I bring it up is we thank Stevie for being late. And we're, we're grateful for that Stevie time. Because in those couple hours, we wrote this song. And that's why it's called Waiting for Stevie.